coming in here how oh, it's coming around around the corner here sorry about the wind speak up Steve we can't hear you all the uh, Maltese Navy is out quite choppy today I'm going to show you like uh, I've done it before a casual way how to get to Malta I like to go I know I'm, cra I'm crazy Steve that's why we watch you you're bloody crazy I just go over sometimes I did a Malia Bay video and a nice video there by the Red Tower a little bit over from the Red Tower and I thought let's go to Gozo I don't know what they do here this this stupid oh there's a crossing they want you to go on the crossing but you know Englishman doesn't do what he's told when you're waiting for the buses you can it's a nice shelter here you can queue here bus comes along here bus drops you off there taxi drops you off where that bus is you can come in the car you can do a foot passenger uh, you can bring your truck over if you want as well there's the cars queuing up to go over it's a bit windy today though it's going to be an interesting crossing uh, go over to Gozo also here on Trikawa I think the boat let's just show you that baggage collection assembly point this is where the car if you were coming in a hired car or you got your own car you'd come here I just had to change the battery we definitely was a bit down on power hi guys welcome to Chikawa we're gonna go to Gozo so the cars have come here look you all queue up here until he tells you the boat is ready to go there it is look stop here then you go and row row onto the boat there's a security guard there take care of your personal properties many see there's too many lines there you're joking in the summer this is packed and there's sometimes there's a massive queue past the up to the island up there the summer is very very busy for Gozo all those bays these bays are for boats so there's one two three four bays for boats then there's a line going out onto the main road and sometimes there's a massive queue from way up there coming down and there was one uh, there was a problem with the boat and it was almost at Melia the queue coming down anyway I'm going to show you how you get on very easy you don't pay here you pay when you're coming back but me being an old bugger hey look the buses drop you off here wow very windy this is the terminal uh, there's a cafeteria here this is the way you go in still oh wait, there's the entrance on this side <laughs> still the uh, sign for wear a mask so here's the terminal as you see look tickets are purchased from MGR upon return nice waiting area I'll show you where the cars queue up to go across there's a little restaurant area here snacks coffees and teas I'll show you this queue that while they're waiting for the boat we're waiting for one to come in maybe in the winter there's it's a winter time now so there's not many so here's the trucks waiting to go on and the cars motorbike coming down I'm not sure if that's Melita is working but oh yeah he's dropping his he's dropping me too we might go on Melita 
So I'll have a coffee here or a pastizzi or a pie, some snacks, bit pizza. There's a, quite a few waiting to go on. There's uh, catering machines as well here. Right, there's water and soft drinks, energy drinks I think. Big terminal here, but in the summer it's very different. Lots of waters, soft drinks, snacks, coffee. This is the terminal of Chukawa. So what we do, we come back to you when we're ready to go aboard. Very quiet. So I think we're going to be loading on that Melita. This is the ferry. No push chairs, children must be accompanied at all times. Stand in the middle. Let's uh, board now, guys. Go up the ferry. We don't have, by the way, we don't pay here in Chitawa. You pay on the return. So you could come over on the boat and then swim back and you won't have to pay a penny. So there's normally just one gate here in Morta. There's gate one and two, but there's always only one ferry. Uh, in the summer, maybe, maybe, but most of the time they wait for the one to come in and then they, it goes back out again. Quite a nice. In the old days, we used to go on with the cars. The cars are going on now, I think, yeah. Oh, there's an ambulance just coming up the ferry. So in the old days, you used to walk on with the cars. I remember in the 70s. And then you make, but now they obviously, we've got the EU regulations. So everybody's got to be separated. And we go all across on with this tunnel. Cars go on their own way through there. And remember, don't panic about paying. You, you pay on the way back. Nice big tunnel coming through there. Sometimes I see these people pushing and shoving and dashing to get on the boat. <laughs> I can't understand it. Everybody gets on it, it's not going to go without you. <laughs> Take it easy, wait for the crowd to go. And then just marandra along. So I don't know if it's going to be a, a rough crossing. Looks a bit windy. And we're on the boat, guys. So I'll try and show you a little bit what the boat's got to offer. It's got like a, a restaurant here, look. And a shop. And it's got the same machines here, look. catering machine so I'm going to take you around the boat show you the different there's a shop here look. you can buy like snacks and books and chocolates and uh, newspapers drinks water somewhere to sit down Time, is it? So it's two o'clock. And here is the cafeteria. You can buy coffees, snacks, pies, pastizzi, toilets, many toilets on board. Here's the Chocolates and drinks. Plenty of room to sit down. Sorry. I'll come and have a coffee here. Oh, I never saw that there. What's that over there? Like a little room to look out. 
This is nice boat in MV Melita. Melita being the name of Malta in, in the old days. So that's it really, that's the cafeteria and uh, a lounge over that side. We go on the Sunday. Let's go on this one first. We start at the bottom and we're going to work our way. <laughs> These doors are so heavy. I'm going to show you around. It's not too bad. Let's see when it gets going, how windy it is. coming in there so he's coming in on bay two so that's probably if this one doesn't get away let's see this one coming in first Opening the doors already. Good off. It's quite calm. Look, it was very windy, but I don't think the sea's that rough. to go so it goes back uh, Comino on its way there you're gonna see the probably the outlines of the blue lagoon on 180 2002 I don't see what shipping company to the captain <laughs> I wrote to them once here I said I was doing a vlog and it would be nice to say hello to the captain they didn't even bother to answer
well it's a little bit it's a little bit nippy it's winter time off season uh, most of the people are using the boat now are gozo people uh, maybe it's people going for business and those few tourists that probably come off season so there's not a lot of people that venture outside only mad dogs and Englishmen are outside here's the I normally stay by these lifeboats just in case <laughs> so he's still loading the cars I think yeah they're still coming on it so we get the last few cars on plenty of rope here Whoa. hey this is windy here that was blocked so we stay on that side of the boat I think we need any rope oh that's better anyway the last few cars and then we'll get on the way no fellow Oh, it's blowing guys. We're on the way to Gozo, over there. I'll go up the stairs in a minute, but it's blowing a gale. <laughs> Overboard in that cold, I can't imagine it. Anyway, we'll be Gozo soon. I'm not sure how long it takes. I've been hundreds of times 15 20 minutes. We're gonna hit the wind again here, guys. So hold your breath. Wow!
can just make out the Blue Lagoon and the Tower, Camino Tower. Sometimes they do an open day that you can go over. I was thinking about going over today. I looked last night at the... There was no information, so I called them up this morning. They said, no, there's no crossings. But I was going up north anyway, so I thought I was going to do like a, a quick Camino walk. And then I was going to do a Meliha, then the Red Tower. Anyway, we're almost in the harbour MGR now. That's Camino. Guys, we're in Gozo. This is Gozo. Mjar Harbour, Gozo. No rush because if you go downstairs now, there's a lot of pushing and shopping. So, especially in the summer, you can hang around. I'll show you where the bus is. There's buses, taxis, uh, open top buses. There's one there. Look, uh, there's lots of ways to get to Rabat, which is the capital. It goes up the hill. Uh, over here is Ein Seelam. This is Mjar. Remember we, we met somebody at that church. I always thought that was Ein Seelam there. I never really bothered much about uh, Gozo. I always go to Marsafon or Schlendi. And I walked all the way up to that church and somebody shouted from a little window when we made friends from Canada. I might stay at this hotel one time. I was thinking about it. It's the MJR, I think it's just called MJR. It's a five star though, so but you can get some decent prices off peak. So we're gonna dock guys. I'm gonna come straight back, I think. Maybe I'll stop for a coffee. This time of year everything is closed up. Beautiful though, eh? A little bit windy on the way, but uh, we survived. We're here guys, cars waiting to come on. So we're ready to get out guys. I came out to the wind, it's so cold. If you've got a car, you would go down here for the car. So you have to wait uh, to go out with everybody else. I'm not going across on the on the tunnel. Have to go down with the cars. Normally you go across on the bridge, on the tunnel, but there must be a... It's not working, I think. We're going down with the cars. We're going the old-fashioned way. So that would be interesting, though. The, the thing must have broken down on the on the bridge. So we go down where the cars are.
be like uh, on the wrong side. Anyway, we're in Gozo, guys. I don't know how you get over to the other side. To the terminal. Must be doing... Oh, here's the terminal here. So the thing must have broken down. But this is the way up. I think this is the way up. Not up there, over there. They're going down to the road here. Let's try this way, guys. Anyway, that's what we came on. The tunnel must be... Oh, here's the tunnel. So we came on the other side. That's why we had to come off with the cars. Here it is, Mjar Harbour. I'm going to show you from the top here. This is like a, a bit of a garden here. I have never been up on the top here. Probably that's why everybody was walking that way. <laughs> Let's see if there's a way down from here. What a plonker, huh, Rodney. Oh, there is some stairs, but are they blocked off? That's what we ask ourselves. Ops the daisy. When they have a problem from the goes to hospital they have to send them to matter day so that would be a that's a bit of an arsehole if you something serious at the hospital and they have to take you over to gozo because you've got like five ten minutes down the road 20 minutes across the ferry and you've got another 20 minutes down to uh matter day the main hospital anyway we're gonna get to the terminal Oh shit, how do you get in? <laughs> Very good, leave everybody stranded here. <laughs> good job I come out then, I would have been locked in. <laughs> Anyway, this is the harbour and I'll show you where you buy the ticket to go back to Malta. Show you in there. Here's the taxis all lined up here and the buses all for for Rabat and uh, Master Fawn and I think I'm not sure where else. Let's have a look at the buses. Open top buses, taxis. This goes to Rabat 303. Anyway, this is all the buses here. Go at the exit, let's go in the entry. So here's the entry when you come back. You go over here where the tickets are. I thought how much the prices are because I never pay anything but there's tourist information, tickets. Anyway, here the tickets are. So get your ticket and you have to scan it here. Yeah. I always forget where the scanning on the top I think. There we are. And we can go straight in because Melita is in already and I think they're boarding in gate one. 
So this is the terminal of Gozo, of Mjar. Pick it guys, I'll put the price. I'm zero. <laughs> uh, I don't know foreigners if you're retired, but any Morty is retired, it's free on the ferry. So I don't know if we're gonna get straight on because there was still unloading. Go to the tower! Five million! Can we make it guys? Can you make this video five million? Pretty boring. There's not much to see here. So that's it, you pay on the return home, unless you want to swim. Then you get the free, the journey free. Oh, we are going across on the tunnel, I think. This is the same one, MV Melita. So I showed you all around it. Very easy, very easy. Just walk on, walk on MJ, jump on the ferry, whichever. They're coming all the time, every 10, 15, 20 minutes. Depends on the summer or the winter, so. And then on your way back home, you pay like that, so simple. And that, uh, I didn't want to show her on the video because sometimes you get a bit touchy anyway. Thanks guys. Gozo. Uh, let me see. Malta to Gozo. Gozo to Malta. 